Hey guys, Sabino Spots here. This is a tutorial about how to get your horse super white before the show. This is not a weekly routine. This is not a daily routine. If you guys want me to do one of those, leave me a comment down below saying you want it and I'll make it. It's pretty simple, right? Alright, so let's talk about um, why I'm doing this. I fought so hard trying to figure out what the best products were when I first started with my horse because he was just gross so through years and years of experience I bring to you my routine so you're gonna need some basic supplies conditioner if you have manes and tails to do I did not do a tail and my horse's mane is roached so I didn't need this today but just in case I mean I guess conditioner is kind of a preference you're gonna need a cheap shampoo that you don't mind spending a little bit of money on because we're going to wash them before we use the next product which is the purple shampoo. You're going to want a non-color safe purple shampoo. The reason that we want this is because we're going to use it as a toner. Purple neutralizes yellow. And if we neutralize that yellow, we're going to get a really beautiful white horse out of it. So we need something that's got a possibility of depositing a little bit of color. And you're also going to need a couple of grooming tools. A curry comb and a stiff bristle brush. My horse was really gross and grimy today, so you're going to see me grooming him off right here. Just went over him real quick with a curry and a hard bristle brush. We're going to use that hard bristle brush later to bathe our horse. And yeah, let's get started. I'm recording the super boring part because it's important for me to convey what I'm trying to say. And I know I'm not going to be able to explain it. Also, I apologize in my... In the, yeah. I apologize in advance for my questionable fashion sense, but you know what? It's hot down here. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to show you guys something real quick so you can see it. I hope you can see it full overcast. But I have nothing for you. I have no food. I'm so sorry. Big boy. Stop. So I'm going to go ahead and hose them off. You guys can see they're running off of them just because it's candy. Thank you. Oh, that's fine. Basically with the hose I try to remove as much dirt as possible. I'm not going to bathe all of him right now because he doesn't need a whole bath. And I'm going to save my money on my shampoo. Um, yeah, so I try to get as much dirt off as possible with the off of him as possible with the hose and then I will come back in with my main and tail regular cheapo shampoo good boy Ooh. so I'll use this to get the rest of the dirt off of him um, because his hair is shorter right now well because I clipped part of him I'm going to be using a stiff bristle brush and I'll show you guys how I do that real quick I'm going to take the hose Let the brush bristles. Get the shampoo. Air it on the brush as such. And then I will try not to put shampoo all over myself. I'm going to do his shoulder area right here. In his armpit. Okay, so I'm going to scrub this really good. I use a ton of shampoo to get the dirt out of the skin because I don't want to waste all my money cleaning him with my purple shampoo. My purple shampoo is for my toning. So I scrub him really good. I'll set my shampoo down there. Turn my water back on. Rinse this out. So yeah, you do want to use a lot of shampoo and get it really really sudsy. I'm just going to kind of throw that down there for now. And then, let me start. Okay. You can barely clearly see, at least I hope you can, where I have put the shampoo versus where I have not scrubbed with the shampoo because the skin under here appears almost gray and we don't want that we want the skin more pink and fleshy like it is under here 
but it's still not quite as clean as I want it to be. This is why I will wash my horse two to three times with the regular cheaper shampoo because I really need to see what's going on when I've got that purple shampoo toning on his body. So again, same amount of shampoo. Probably gonna be a little gross because it's heading in the dirt. And just scrub it. You can go against it, against the hair like this to help lift it up. do his winter hair too because that's a little bit more stained in yellow than where I had him clipped this winter. I'm going to come get you guys and bring you in for a closer look so that I know that you are she's being nosy. What are you doing? Oh, mares. Alright, so this is where I was scrubbing him with the shampoo and all up in his winter coat. So you can tell the different, a definite difference between where he was not scrubbed with shampoo versus where he was scrubbed with shampoo. This hair under here, the skin's going to be clean because I got all the dirt out of it, okay? And it's easier to see on paints because pink skin. Or pintos, I should say. Because pink skin, but yeah, that's pretty much your main difference. So once I have the skin completely clean, we'll move on to the, um, the purple shampoo. Okay, so first things first, we don't want a color safe shampoo. We want a color shampoo that is, you can't hardly see me right now, but that's fine. You need a color shampoo that is going to actually deposit some color and do a little bit of a dye job. Here, I'm going to sit out of my butt. <laughs> um, and how you, how you test that out is that I can tell you 100% for certain that Betulin White and Bright is not color safe, meaning it will stain things, which is how it works. So if you have purple shampoo at home and you want to test it because some purple shampoos are color safe and aren't actually going to do anything besides just clean your horse's coat. You can put a dot of it on your hands and you can let it sit for a few minutes. It doesn't have to be very long, you know, the longer it sits on there, the more purple it's going to get. So if you really like purple, I mean, go for it, whatever, who cares? Now the directions for this say add two to four capsules to two gallons of water for ready to use shampoo. Wet a horse's coat thoroughly, massage Betrolin white and bright shampoo into the horse's coat, mane and tail, leave on for five minutes, rinse with clear running water. We ain't gonna do that. <laughs> it says to spot clean, rub red betulin white and bright shampoo directly into the stain and leave on for five minutes, then rinse thoroughly. That is more like we're gonna do, except on the whole body. So I'm going to cover this brush in purple shampoo. This is why I'm only doing a small area because this is $20 and I use a lot of it because I have pinto addictions. So it's all in the brush like that. Oh yeah. This is real. This is real. So I'm going to get this nice, slightly violet, but more of a lavender pastel color on my horse. You may need to do this in sections. So yeah, that's that. That's why, that's why I have to conserve people. <laughs> because I do this all over and both sides. Whee! Okay, not all pintos are created the same. Some are more white than others. I, my little miniature Viking, he is like this beautiful, stark sterling white. He's, he's the perfect white and his coat doesn't stain easily. I don't really know why his coat doesn't stain as easily as others, but with also him not staining easily, he also doesn't really get very dirty. He's, he's a pretty clean little horse. This pig, disgusting monster thing, is disgusting. <laughs> he, if you have a sheet on him, he will find a way to get it under his sheet and smear all the poop into his hair. And it's just, it's awful. 
he literally got poop into leg wraps one time. That is why I do this. I'm gonna leave this on for a few minutes, just enough to get the hair the very lightest, 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 lightest shade of lavender. This is why we have to pay attention and it would probably be a good idea for you to spot test this before a show to see how long it takes your horse's hair to absorb that purple color. We gonna leave this on him for a little while. I've got that strip of lavender purple shampoo where it's gonna tone out the yellow and then right beside it is just regular hair that's been washed with shampoo and then behind it is the really behind it and in front of it is really dirty disgusting haven't washed it with any shampoo yet hair so hopefully you'll be able to see the difference i might have to pull him in the barn so the lights are on him but yeah oh I'll, I'll try to get a picture to show you guys what kind of lavender you need to be looking for in your horse's coat this is much easier to do when it's sunny outside. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about. We've got a lavender tint all where that purple shampoo was. And when he dries, that will dry a completely beautiful pristine white. Next to it, you have a slightly off shade of, well, it's not lavender and it's not completely stark white either, but it is where his hair coat was clean. And then here we have where I didn't do anything that was before. That was a partial after and that is a complete after. So when he dries, this will be absolutely beautiful and white. So I hope you guys can see that. So I hope you guys can see what I'm talking about. I'm hoping it comes through on camera as I back up. And you can definitely tell a difference from when you get back. This is significantly more white than what was just touched by the regular shampoo and then not at all. So if you guys liked this, if you want to see more videos like it, leave me a like. Leave me a comment telling me what you want to see. If you want me to show you how to get your horse on fleek for the show ring, let me know. I might do a grooming routine later. Hey, handsome. He is so gross. Maybe I should have given him a complete bath. Cookie? Oh!